Hello and welcome to the Friday, December 22nd, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. The reason we are running honeypots at the Internet Storm Center is to figure out what vulnerabilities attackers are exploiting. And again, our interns with the sans.edu undergraduate program are helping us to sift through the logs and figure out, you know, what is new and interesting. Now, often we are sort of focusing a little bit more on cutting edge recent vulnerabilities even though the vast majority of these attacks is looking for well-known problems. That's something pointed out by David Thompson here in his diary. This diary looks at uh, essentially some of these sort of enumeration brute forcing attacks for different uh, file names, seeing a ton of them and uh, really a good reminder to first of all, clear up any files that you no longer need on your system and properly access controlling files that still need to be present. And David is going over some tricks here to show you how to do this properly in Apache. And then before you uh, go into your well-deserved uh, holiday, uh, probably a long weekend, you may want to quickly make sure that Google Chrome is up to date. We do have a new Saturday vulnerability that was patched in Google Chrome. And talking about the holidays, just a quick note here, not related to a specific news story or such, but a couple things that you probably want to look for if you are in the unlucky place to be stuck at work uh, over the weekend, uh, sort of monitoring your systems. Probably the best thing you can do uh, during this time, if you have uh, the extra time, is to carefully watch your remote access systems. And uh, this includes things like uh, VPNs, of course, uh, systems like Citrix and such. We had a lot of attacks against uh, that recently. Make sure that access you're seeing is legitimate. And of course, sometimes you may have particularly enabled some of these systems to allow for people who are working remotely over the holidays to be able uh, to assist you with things like network administrating tasks. Don't forget uh, serial consoles if you still have things like this. And again, if you have some extra time, maybe a good thing to just poke around a little bit, uh, check your logs, make sure everything is up to date and uh, look for any kind of odd access patterns when it comes to these remote access systems. Now, for those of you spending the holidays at home with a family, uh, just a couple of reminders for you. Always a good idea uh, to uh, carefully boot up uh, any electronic gadgets that you have to make sure they don't come uh, pre-infected. We often had that happen in the past where, for example, particular devices that connect via USB uh, to systems are coming pre-infected and then are attempting to infect any hosts they're connecting to. So in addition to batteries, you may need an anti-malware scanner. Also, if you're visiting family, make sure that their gateways, their routers or whatever they're using are up to date. So in case you are, as often is the case with listeners to this podcast, I would imagine if you are sort of the help desk for the family, that's sort of one quick check, check that you could perform and hopefully prevent some issues in the future. And that's it for today. This is also it for the rest of the year. There will be no podcast next week. The next podcast will be on Tuesday, January 2nd. And thanks for all the listeners uh, throughout this year and for all the feedback that I have received. Of course, now the one thing I do want for Christmas is that uh, I'll always get more listeners uh, never can get enough of those of course also if you're looking what to do early in the new year i'll actually be teaching our web application security class in the second week of january thanks and talk to you again next year bye